Once upon a crime. Inside this independent bookstore, mysteries are the main event. For more than 30 years, Once Upon a Crime has been a part of the community. We're on 26th right off of Lindale, so in Uptown. Manager Devin Abraham's family took over two and a half years ago. It's been a pretty amazing. Every day is different in here, which is why I really like working here. Um, it's a really solid community of people. But Devin's not sure where the story goes from here. There has been a resurgence, and that's great, and a lot of bookstores are doing really well, which is fantastic. Um, but there are some of us that are struggling. With the possibility of closing, they took a shot in the dark, launching a GoFundMe page. They hope to raise $50,000 to pay off debt and the original loan. Devin says they face rising rents, also less parking space after the city put in a bike lane. One of our main challenges is all the construction. Um, we've got a building going up around across the street that sometimes blocks off the road and blocks off a lot of parking. Um, the construction with 35W, the 26th Street Bridge was closed. It's just been hard to get here. It's also been hard over at Dreamhaven Books and Comics in South Minneapolis. We have a lot of unusual collectible items and just things you won't find anywhere. Owner Greg Ketter says a slow small business Saturday led to him reaching out on Facebook, asking customers to come in and simply buy a book. But it's always a struggle. It just always has been. And, and with the added things like Amazon and ebooks and aging, it's it's always a struggle. I guess it always will be. Oh, sure. But local stores are holding out hope. And in Once Upon a Crimes case, it's the hope of continuing their story. Yeah, thank you and have a great day. In Minneapolis, Heidi Wigdahl, mm -hmm. CARE 11 News. So far, Once Upon a Crimes GoFundMe page has raised more than $14,000. They have until April 1st to decide what's next. That's when their lease is up.